Hey everyone, it's Windstreak. In today's video, I'll be tackling a question you guys have asked for a long time, and that is picking a random object from a group without picking a repeat. So we'll be doing this with very minimal edits, so you guys should be good to follow along in real time. I'm um, starting with everything completely blank, and I'm just going to go ahead and add some assets from the asset store and I just want something that has a large amount of assets to work with so I grabbed a random RPG item set and we're just gonna add all these to the scene and we'll give this a moment to load and now that these are all in these are my choices to work with but not necessarily what will be chosen from because we need a group for that. So I'll go ahead and create a group and we'll call it selectable items and I'm gonna go down the list here and just add the first couple of items. And that looks good, so I will store that there. We don't need any variables, and now we have a group we can work with. So we have the nine items in this group. And for additional objects, I'm going to add a button, just because that's an easy way to create a event. So we can have it go on button click. And I'm also gonna add text, and this will just be be to display what we are also showing with the objects. It'll just be an easier way to track and make sure we aren't showing more than one of the same. And I'm not too worried about my naming conventions. I'll just throw this in here. And for now, we will start a new condition with click. I'm gonna search button here and is clicked. And then under our text, we'll just set this to empty on our click. Obviously, we'll be doing more in there once we have more to work with. <clears throat> and essentially here is how we can just pick a random object from the group. So we can use our create an object from its name and then use our group name and then create a random object out of here. There's a full video on it if you haven't seen it. I'll link that below. Um, but we are going to instead use an array and this will allow us to pull out from the array um, while we can shuffle and then also remove the ones we pulled out. So let's get into that. Uh, we're gonna come over here and we'll just make the array a global variable. Add that there. And I'm going to name it pretty much the same things, uh, selectable items, but I want to make sure we know the difference. This one's the array, so I'll tag that in the beginning. And then we need all of the children. Oh, actually, let's delete these because we want to change this to text because these need to hold the name of our objects in here. And then once we have one, we can just paste that. And 8 plus 0 uh, takes us to our 9. And on my other screen, I just have a screenshot of the first nine I selected. Um, and I'm just going to write these all in since over here it does not show our objects. They're hidden and we can't drag this. But if you're following along, you can just copy mine as I write them in. And then the caps locks and spelling matters because if it is the wrong name it won't know what to pull and I think that'll just make it pull the first item in our group or maybe it'll pull nothing so make sure you pay attention I'm telling you to pay attention. I missed, misspelled. 
but we got that fixed now and I believe everything looks good so we will um, before we leave we will actually make a second variable and this one's gonna be called copy and it'll be blank in here and the idea here is we will copy everything from our original array into our copy and then we can do whatever we want to the copy without worrying about losing our original array. So we will move all of these objects into this and then we can shuffle this and grab things out and delete things and we still have our original array to fall back to. So we will apply that <coughs> and I think we are good to hop into our events. So our first thing we want to do is copy our array over. And oh, we're going to need extensions added. So under our properties here, go to extensions and we want the array tools. I just searched array here and it should be the first one. And this just gives us more options inside of our event sheet uh, to work with our arrays. So once we have that, we can add a new action and <clears throat> it's going to be called append and this just lets us move from one array to the other and then if you look here it says scene variable and here it says global variable and we did our array in global variable so we want to make sure we select this one and the array to get the variables from so our first array and the array to send them to is our second array which is our copy so now we should have all of our objects moved over and we can test this. So I have the debugger open already. If you don't, uh, hit this little drop down, start preview and debugger will open it for you. Since mine's already up, I don't need to hit that. And we can hit refresh to get a screenshot of the current state of the game. And we can look at our global variables and we have our normal array and then our array copy and then if we click on the button and we can see the button works since the text went away uh, we can refresh this again and then we will see all of our objects have moved into our copy array so let's close this and now that we have them all moved over uh, we want to shuffle the copy so We can type in shuffle and we have a shuffle array. And again, we want to make sure we click the global variables and we want to shuffle our copy. And I keep selecting the other one just because it's not hidden under all the stuff. And then it's easier to just add copy here. Um, <clears throat> so we have it appended, we have it shuffled, and now we can draw objects by their name from that array. So we'll do a sub event and I'm going to do a repeat here. Uh, this way we can just drop a bunch at once and I'll just throw in a five. Generally this would be a variable um, for like amount of items to drop or something. That way you can just edit it throughout dynamically. Um, but since this is just a small project, we'll put in this five here. And this will just do a group pull from our objects. Uh, Let's type in create here and create object from its name. And we want to go from our group, selectable items. And the name of the object is going to be whatever is in our first slot of our copied array. I think if I type pop, copy here, yeah, uh, it'll give this as a selection. And to get the first slot, we put in index zero there. Then where we want to put it, oops. I don't want them all stacking on top of each other and I don't want to build a system that makes everything all neat and organized because that'll take too much work. I'm just going to do between 0 and 900 and then add 200 more and this will just put everything slightly to the right side and I'm going to do the same concept with this so this will put everything slightly to the bottom. Um, so it'll be between 201 and 700 and 201 and 1100. Uh, for the X and Y there. 
So we'll have those scattered around. And we also want to worry about our text object. And we will change the text. And we will add. Uh, this way they stack on top of each other. And we will work with that same index spot, 0. Plus a new line. So it's nice and neat for us. So we can just run this here and see what we have so far. And we are grabbing a bunch of leather helmets, which just happens to be whatever the shuffle put in the first spot because we are shuffling and then just grabbing five times in a row without removing the top index. So let's add in a way to remove. And these are built in. So remove a child. Uh, remove variable. I believe it might be. Nope, that's not right. Yeah, remove variable by in index. And we want to just grab whatever selectable item happens to be in array index one of our copied index. Oh, there it is. Here's the one we want. Um, we don't care about selected. We want our array here, and no matter what, we want to remove the first index spot, so index 0. Which then means the first index spot will become the second spot, so everything will shift upwards, and then as we do this five times, we'll now get different objects each time. Boop, and as you can see, we have five different objects and I'm just gonna hop in here and make our selected items scale I'll just make them a little bigger for us so we can see them as well as the text and I'm going to hop back over here we'll add a new button I'm just going to pop this one underneath, and I'm just going to have this one pull a single one each time. And this will show us um, that we are just grabbing one of each one, and eventually the array runs out. And also there are some bugs in here still, so this will help us get through all of that. So what we'll do is click, and we pretty much just want all of this to happen. We don't want to reset any of the array. We don't want to copy anything. It's already been done on our first click. Uh, this will just be to pull out the remainder one at a time. So I'm just... So I just copied those and pasted. And if you notice, I accidentally selected the bottom one before that one, which flipped these two spots. <clears throat> which wouldn't have changed anything, but they should be the same anyways, just for readability. So now if we preview, we can pop a 5 pull, and then we can continue going down, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Nine, my, my adding didn't add there. Anyways, nine, because we have nine uh, total objects in our thing. And if I pull one more, we get a zero, because they are out of objects in there. We're out of child's, child's children in the array. And um, it kind of just auto fills in a blank spot for you here. So we do that. And then what happens if we re-click this? Uh, so then if we re-click this, it'll reset it. Obviously, we didn't clean up our objects here, so they still show. Um, but it re-clicks all of our re pulls through, all of them one at a time. And again, we end up with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And perfect. Okay, so we don't have one of the bugs I thought we would have in here. Um, but we do want this zero to not show up because zero is not an object. And <coughs> we can do that with something simple like a variable check here. So with the variable value of zero 
and then it's text that we're working with and we're just gonna see and I'm adding these quotes since we're using it as text um, we're just gonna see if it is zero and then oops instead of is equal to we want does not equal so we're gonna run all this as long as our variable in spot zero does not equal zero and that should stop us from grabbing more than our nine and it does not what did I do wrong here uh, it is global and I'm working with the wrong array so make sure you're actually working with the one you're supposed to be and we have our copy in there and now we can fill it up and nothing else happens after we reach our limit here and there you go that is a way to grab one item at a time in a random order from your group of objects or even a bulk amount oh here here we go we so if we get down to zero we have this zero pop in here as one of our nine objects actually I think we end up with ten now so one two three four five six seven eight nine plus this little guy makes ten and what is happening here and this is the bug I thought we were gonna hit earlier and I didn't see it and now we do see it so when we push uh, our white button we are pushing all of our objects from our normal array into copied array and if we have a zero left in our copy array and then we push the other nine objects then we end up with ten objects that zero plus the nine objects and I'm pretty sure this also works where if I click this twice in a row we're pushing after only using five of the objects so we might have a bunch of objects so four five six seven eight nine so this should be the nine we had and it still had these additional four here and this is just because we are not clearing up our copy array we should make sure that it's at zero every time before we use it so we can do that with a new action and I think we can just clear children clear children mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think it's this one clear children and make sure we work with our copy array we don't want to clear our main one and we want to do this before we move the other ones over so here it does matter the order and we're going to text doesn't matter the order here we're going to clear everything then we're going to move everything from our old array or our permanent array to our copy array and then we'll shuffle our copy array so now we should no longer have any issues if we do the double click here and keep adding we should end up with nine so four five six seven eight nine and additionally if we go all the way down where we can't click anymore we should no longer get that zero in here and there we go now you guys have mastered selecting a single object out of a group with no repeats as always drop the questions below and until next time peace